It is a part of our goal at Win Women in Business to continue to keep evolving. So we hope to see some exciting changes this year. And we wanna invite you again to join us for all these changes. We started out focusing on women in business, but we quickly shifted gears and we started expanding our focus. We started discussing additional topics um, that are relevant to business women and anyone dealing with the life. Pretty much us all, right? This year, we will be shifting our purpose even more, but not our passion to motivate and inspire our audiences around the world to use their gifts. Each of us have been given special gifts, and we want to encourage you to use and share those talents with others. So stay tuned this year because we're going to be transforming right before your eyes. We'll, we will be changing with you in mind. I know you're probably wondering, where is all this change coming from? What is she talking about? Well, guess what? You're right. It's a new year. It can be a new you. And we want to encourage and inspire and motivate, like we stated earlier, um, everybody to not only change, but to grow as well. So that's what we're going to be doing. Find some ways to grow. Anyways, back to New Year resolutions. That's one of the great things about this time of year. It kind of reminds us that we can start over. Um, it reminds us to write down and at least think about our goals. So I'm so excited and I want to invite you to stay with me on this journey. If you didn't realize it, that's what I'm doing. I am on a personal journey to not only heal and to grow myself personally, but I want to invite you and bring you guys along with me, okay? So as you know, if you've been following the podcast, I lost my seven-year-old daughter, Naomi Love, um, 11 years ago. Because I realized, and, and I might be speaking to everybody, but I definitely want to speak to mothers who've lost their children. Um, for me, one of the hardest things was moving forward. Um, because Naomi is and always will be a part of me, uh, from a mother's perspective, sometimes... I felt like um, the world was gonna forget about her. And I think that's one of the scariest things for a mother who's lost a child, um, is the feeling that this world is gonna keep going on and eventually everybody will have forgotten about your child. So that's the reason, that's kinda how this podcast was formed and created. Um, So I just want to share with women and mothers that you can move forward um, and you can continue to honor your child or your children, um, both your living and your deceased children. Um, the reason I feel compelled to share my story is in the story of others is because I don't want anyone else to feel like they're stuck. And for years, I felt like I was stuck. So since Naomi's loss, I've experienced many traumatic events that have caused me to retreat into myself. And again, I suffered from anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress, just to name a few. And I don't ever want anyone else to go through it and feel like they're in this all alone. Well, a couple years ago, I decided to start fighting back for several reasons, for Naomi's legacy, for my other children that were living, and I'm gonna speak to that just for a brief moment. Um, one of my sons was um, having a hard time in school, and um, I was so depressed that there were many days that I really couldn't get off the couch. But the mother in me would not allow me to lie by and watch my, my child suffer and struggle. So to be honest, that's really a big reason that I got back up and I started fighting. So all of our reasons are different. Um, a lot of times it's not because you've lost a child, it's because you lost a job, it could be because you lost a spouse or a parent, a loved one. But regardless of the reason that we go through things in life, sometimes it's just that we're just starting out in our careers or just starting our life out and we don't know which direction to go in. And again, we can feel like we're in it all alone. So that is part of my mission, part of our purpose, is we just want to make sure that you know that you're not in this thing called life alone. You're not here by yourself, that there are other people who have gone through things like you. And that's what we want to do is we want to share our stories, hopefully to inspire and motivate you and encourage you to keep on going because you too can make it. 
believe me, this road has been definitely very, very difficult and hard, but you too can make it. Um, I was saying that some reasons why I decided to start fighting back. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I don't remember if I told you or not, but I'm a new grandmother, so for my grandson, that's another reason I'm fighting. For my own health, not just my physical health, but my mental health, my sanity, and also because I wanted to regain my life back. So those are just a few of the reasons that I have decided to share. Part of the reason that I will continue to try to bring you new episodes and continue to try to um, share stories of people not only overcoming, but people who have become very successful.